What is good, Guardian? Soldier only here from Sports Nerd Web. Welcome to this week's episode of Destiny Unplugged. And the hype train has officially started for Destiny 2. Uh, today, earlier today was the official, uh, was the official reveal trailer, the full length one, because, I mean, as you know, two days ago they came out with that little, uh, minute and a half, uh, teaser that they called Last Call that had, uh, you know, Cade 6 talking in the bar. Uh, and, and whatnot, and this kind of, it, it, it pretty much picked up right where that was, uh, in, in a way, it had, it still had, like, the, it still had the same, uh, it still had the same tone, it still had, it still dealt with the, uh, with the Cabal attack on the tower, uh, and there was actually a scene in there, in here, in there that they put that I loved, and and Kate even mentions it in it as well. He even says how your stuff and my stuff is destroyed. Most importantly, my stuff. Uh, and it even shows a glimpse of the tower or the vault at the tower being destroyed. Uh, I I I mean, obviously, most people knew that they would go this route. That's obviously the best way that they can explain uh, the reason for your weapons and armor and gear and all that uh, to be gone. Um, but I'm I'm stoked. This trailer this trailer was awesome. It unfortunately didn't show any uh, any gameplay, but we all we did w with this trailer also came a lot of news as well. I mean, we finally got confirmation that it will indeed be coming out on PC. Uh, they also confirmed that the September 8th release date that we saw on that poster leak is indeed the actual release date for the game. Um, you know, I mentioned in one of my videos that. Some people thought that that September 8th was actually, uh, and that was the date for the beta. Uh, but September 8th is the actual uh, game's launch, and the beta is supposed to be in the summer. And you can actually pre-order uh, your copy of the game now, and you will actually get early access to the beta, which is sometime this summer. Uh, they also said that they are going to have a, a gameplay reveal of Destiny 2 live stream. Uh, on May 18th, I would imagine it's probably going to be 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, a lot of their, a lot of Bungie's live streams are at 10, 10 a.m. I mean, all their reveal ones for Rise of Iron and Age of Triumph, the three that they did for Age of Triumph were at 10 a.m. Pacific. I mean, with them being in Seattle, they always time everything Pacific. But um, and they did, uh, they have already with these pre-orders that you can get. There's actually two. Uh, editions of it. There's a limited edition and a collector's edition. Uh, the limited edition uh, comes with the base game, uh, an expansion pass, because they are they're just calling them right now expansions one and two. So there is obviously two planned expansions already. Uh, I mean, because they've been working on this game for a long time, so I'm not really surprised that I mean all the content that they've made and that they plan to have. I'm sure they're looking at it and they can already tell like they have enough. They have it laid out, you know. Obviously, they don't let us know that much of a roadmap, but you have to figure internally they have a pretty big roadmap that they're gonna for when they're gonna be dropping their content. But the limited edition comes with the base game, the Destiny 2 expansion pass, a limited edition steelbook case, uh, and Destiny 2 is obviously heavily Cabal themed. I mean, they, this limited edition has a Cabal themed collector's box uh, with a Booklet with secrets into the Cabal Empire, a Cabal schematic, collectible postcard images, and Cabal military pawns. And then it will, it will also come with uh, digital content, a legendary sword, uh, player emo, and emblem. So you, so obviously you can also take from this that uh, emotes and emblems will make a return into Destiny 2 as well. And then they have a uh, collector's edition that is... <laughs> it's obviously it's godly priced, but you are getting a lot of stuff for it. I mean, it, it has already popped up on websites for 250 bucks American U.S. Uh, and that comes with the base game, the expansion passes. Uh, it also says get access to both expansion one and two, offering uh, brand new story missions, cooperative activities, cooperative or competitive multiplayer, and a wealth of new weapons, armor, and gear. It comes with a Destiny 2 Frontier bag. It's a customizable bag that can be worn as a backpack or messenger bag. A 15-inch laptop uh, or tablet sleeve with a protective pocket slip. Uh, and this has a Frontier kit. It's a solar panel USB charger uh, with a built-in light. 
that that goes into the, the backpack, a paracord, solar blanket, uh, and that as well has the limited edition steelbook case and uh, the cabal booklets and schematics and images and military pawns and stuff like that uh, that came in the other one. And you will also get the the digital content as well, the legendary sword, emote, and emblem. Uh, and then as far as the beta is concerned, uh, we don't have a date on it. All we know is that it's sometime this summer, but it is an open beta, and it will be open to everyone sometime this summer. However, if you pre-order the game, uh, you can play prior to non-pre-order players. Uh, I mean, you know, we, we don't know how far in advance it is. Uh, and who, I mean, obviously, who knows how long they're even going to run. Maybe they just do it for a weekend. Uh, I could see, like, the pre-order ones, uh, like, the, the early access from the pre-order ones, I could see them maybe having, like, a weekend, probably, like, the week before, uh, the, the non-pre-order ones. Uh, I could see it being done that way, but, um, I mean, we'll have to, uh, wait and see what they plan on doing with it, but. Uh, I'm, I, I, ever since that poster leak happened and then how they immediately had that teaser trailer a couple days ago, I've been wondering ever since then if, if Bungie was actually planning on, on releasing all this stuff this soon or if that poster leak kinda, kinda lit a fire under their, their butt and got them into gear, you know? Um, so I, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too sure, but, you know, I'm I'm glad that we're finally hearing something. I mean, we were all anticipating not to hear anything until E3 in June. Uh, so the fact that we're actually going to be getting uh, a gameplay reveal live stream on May 18th is amazing. So it makes you wonder what they have planned for E3. I mean, obviously they're still going to have a big Destiny 2 showing because that's the biggest event that they have before release. I mean, there's other conventions and or events after. Uh, but E3 is obviously the biggest one, um, so it makes you wonder what what they're gonna have have planned for that. Uh, maybe maybe well also you know who knows what they're what they show on May 18th. So uh, one thing I haven't checked though, uh, I actually haven't read the the TWAB for today, so we'll we'll get into that. Uh, this week at Bungie, it's from Deej. This week at Bungie, we've seen new beginnings. The Age of Triumph has begun. The grand finale for your oh, hang on, stupid phone. I did not hit that button. I swear. The age of triumph has begun. The grand finale for your Destiny One adventure begins when you break the seal on your record book. Before we send you to new worlds to experience new adventures, it is altogether fitting and proper that we bring the journey we've shared these past few years to an appropriate close. This is our celebration of your guardian. This is your chance to define the full scope of your Destiny 1 legend. So, about those new adventures, we teased Destiny 2. We revealed Destiny 2. It feels so good to have started the conversation. We'll begin with a vision of the Destiny 2 story. The next beat to look forward to is the gameplay reveal on May 18th. This summer, we'll, we'll need you to stand together in the Destiny 2 beta. There will be so much more to talk about all summer long. We'll be making appearances at events where we just might meet you. You'll find more waypoints on our roadmap as the journey progresses. The road to launch on September 8th begins with a single step, and we took it this week. That is awesome. Uh, and then there's uh, there's just some patch notes on the update 2.6 that came out uh, this past Tuesday when Age of Triumph went live. And actually today, they actually already had a hotfix 2.6. 2.6.0.1, uh, which uh, updated today. Uh, so there's the notes for that, uh, and it talks about like the retro retroactive, uh, the retroactive record book uh, for Age of Triumph uh, and all that. So uh, I just I just normally main I normally I normally just read just that like main part of uh, the. Uh, of the TWAB. But at the end, it says, uh, Kill Crotia. Next week, you can set your sights on Atheon when Vault of Glass is the weekly feature raid. One at a time, each raid boss, along with all of their assorted minions of the darkness, will enter the director as a 390 light activity. Week over week, we'll track their debut. 
While we wait for May to arrive and for the Destiny 2 conversation to gain speed, we still have new challenges to master. Deej out. So, <laughs> that's actually funny that it is Vault of Glass this next week because in my stream yesterday, uh, so, so some fellow members of Team MZ came in and we were talking about running some raids this coming week. And it's no secret, I mention it all the time in my videos and streams and stuff. I haven't done any of the re raids yet in Destiny. But, so we finally want to do it. And obviously, Vault of Glass is the first one that I want to do. And I, I was even saying in stream last night that if next week's featured raid is Vault of Glass, then I was like, that is a surefire sign that we are doing it. We're going to get a Team MZ raid, raid team together and we're going to, we're going to raid next week, you know, so. It looks like I'm going to have to hit them up now. <laughs> hit them up uh, when I'm done with this recording. So uh, That's pretty much it for this week, actually. So uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. Sub to the channel for more content. Uh, be sure to check out the new playlist on the YouTube channel, Soldiers Streams. They're just uh, stream highlights and clips from some of my live streams that I take. And if you want to see the streams live, you can follow them, uh, or you can catch them at twitch.tv slash soldier only. Uh, and coming up this weekend is, you know, our normal podcast, Sunday and Monday. Walking Dead season finale is Monday, or Sunday, excuse me, so we'll be talking about it Monday. So it, it's exciting. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.